Do I got your attention? I'm sorry. Okay, before we begin the video, I just wanted to say that all the stuff that you see me doing in the video is, I'm pretty sure, 90% not safe. OSHA would have a heart attack if they saw the stuff that I was doing in this video. It's not safe. You really need to wear like all the proper PPE, personal protective equipment. You don't need to like do the stuff that I did. It was all wrong. I still did it anyways. It's my mistake. I would really rather you not do it the way that I did it. Just be safe. Do your research. And have fun. Always have fun. But be safe. What's up guys? My name is Apocalypse Pyro. Today we're going to be testing out this weird concept that me and Stray Hydroblade have been talking about. Let's get into it. So, oh, can PVC pipe potentially be made into armor? The answer is yes, it can. And can it protect you? Will it do a good job? And these questions will be answered. PVC pipe is a pipe used mainly for plumbing, but when heated, it becomes malleable and you can shape it and form it when it's all heated up. So what I did was I took a four inch by one foot piece of PVC pipe and I heated it up and I formed it into a thigh guard and I wanted to see if it could protect you. Now obviously PVC pipe is a very hard material and I'm not saying hard as in like oh yeah that sounds pretty hard dude no like it's the however they manufacture it it's actually pretty hard but at the same time when you apply a lot of force and pressure to it it's very brittle so I wanted to try this experiment what I wanted to try this experiment evolving you guessed it our skin our skin has the dermis and the epidermis and what that is is the dermis is our under layer it's the pink squishy part and the epidermis is the outer layer the one that protects us from mostly everything and it sheds and it, I, it's pretty durable for the most part in fact it's one of our it is the largest organ on our body I, I fell asleep in biology a lot, so Google it just to make sure. It was I took a piece of PVC pipe, right? I already said this, and what I did was I took Gorilla Tape and I put layers over the outside of it, and then I took a rubberized coating and I sprayed it like uh, two or three layers on it, and the Gorilla Tape is the dermis, and the rubberized coating is the epidermis. I wanted to see that when blunt force hit the PVC pipe, if the Gorilla Tape and the rubberized coating would hold it all together and potentially protect you and keep you safe while keeping your armor intact. Now this is a collaboration video with Stray Hydro Blade. I know the last one didn't go so well, but this time, this time I know it's going to be good. We're testing this concept, this experiment, and we want to see how it goes. So don't forget to go check out his video on this. Give him a like, give him some love, and uh, let's get into the video, guys.
the melon got destroyed. Maybe I should have bought more than one. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, the rubberized coating was already coming off, sticking to the adhesive of the tape. Uh, I feel like zombie go there inspecting the skull that she just smashed. Oh, ink. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I gotta... <laughs> Man. As you can see, that is a crack going down. Oh, yeah. It's, it definitely broke. And the melon, of course, smashed. That is... That's brutal. Delicious. Obviously, with the new Red Ripper, it did crack, it did break. Um, for the most part, it's still in one piece, so we're just going to keep going at it with different weapons. There we go. Yeah, I wish Phil Swift was here. That's a lot of damage. Right there. Let's keep going. Why not? You know they say that two saw blades are better than one, and by they, I mean me. So, here we go. I'm not even sure if I should like line this up. Should I just go for it? Yeah, critical hit. Cool. Here's an oldie but goodie. This is one of the Warhammers that I welded up in welding college. So, <laughs> here we go. Two hands. This thing's heavy. Wow, that is a lot of damage. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what I expected. It's just foam and PVC with Gorilla Tape and some sort of rubberized coating. But, I mean, for the most part, it's still together. So the whole epidermis and dermis thing actually kind of contributed just a little bit. So, I mean, even though it's falling apart, it's still intact. So, to me, that's a win. Of course, this concept could always be improved, but, I mean... It is a concept. It is an experiment. That is... Oh my gosh, even the foam is cracking. I did not expect that. I'm so glad I tested this. This is wonderful. So what did I learn from this experiment? Well, I learned that in a tough situation that PVC pipe is malleable under heat if you have a heat gun and you could potentially make some sort of makeshift body armor out of it for like the apocalypse or whatever like if stuff ever does hit the fan if you catch my drift like you could essentially form something out of this what i'm getting at is that this could potentially save you from a broken bone if you got some psycho with one of these weapons i'm not a psycho i just build these for fun if that helps my case with anything of what i just said oh potentially yes this could actually protect you. Uh, is it very good? No, I'd say this is like some level one stuff you get right out of the game, if you catch my metaphor there. But I mean, for the most part, it held up pretty okay. Those were all critical hits. Those were all just like straight, full momentum swings, even though I'm not a very good fighter or swinger of the weapons and all that. But I mean, it did pretty good. And I'm fairly strong. Man. Look at, but what am I doing? Well, that's the end of this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. Remember, I am collaborating with Stray Hydra Blake. He also made a video similar to this one. You should really go check him out. Also, if you like the video, hey, why not like the video? And if you dislike the video, you know what to do. Dislike the video. And if you want to subscribe, hey, I mean, go for it, please. I, I wouldn't mind, actually. And 
yeah, that's, that's really about it. Hey, real talk though, guys. You guys know that I love you, and I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me lately. I really do appreciate that. But I wanted to tell you something more important, that God loves you, He has a wonderful plan for your life, and Jesus loves you. He died for all your sins, all the world's sins, so that we could spend eternity in heaven forever with God. And I think that is so important, and that should be like the main message around the world. And I just wanted to share that with you. It's some good news. Anyways, I love you. I'll see you guys later. Pyro out.